Hello guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can use JPackage to package your JavaFX and Java file to be an install installation package on Windows so you can send to your customer, your end users, so they don't need to have to install JDK. First of all, you need to set the Java home environment uh, variable so your your Maven can run. So I don't have Maven installed uh, on my machine here, but uh, in my project I have the Maven wrapper. So if you run, uh, you should be able to run Maven clean and package. So let's say I can run Maven CMD clean. And that's it. So to be with success. So now let's uh, let's start with the, the the packaging of the uh, the application. So I have just uh, run uh, Maven clean. So Maven so package to make sure. Let's see. No, sorry. So I need to run Maven package, but with uh, with the platform I set to Windows. So let me show you uh, the the form, so you may know exactly what it is. So you see here, uh, I have set this uh, variable here to uh, include in the package uh, jar file. So this is the build part. So for example, you on your Linux machine or in your Mac machine. Uh, you can uh, set the JavaFX platform to something like uh, Mac or Linux. So that's it. So that's why I need to pass in the uh, Maven variables here. Platform. And that would be Win Windows. Right? And hit enter. So it's, it may take a while, but uh, eventually you will you will have uh, you will have the the jar file in target. Okay, it's not available. So you see it here, roughly fourteen uh, megabytes. So the next thing I need to do is to make it here is to try to create the context. So if you run, uh, if you build the context in the current folder, all the your source uh, files will be included in the final package. That uh, would not be something I want to. I think it would uh, be the same. We uh, just deliver the compile file, not the source code. So I'm going to move the PDF file to this folder, and that's it. And um, the next thing on Windows, in order to run J package, you need to um, have a Wix tool installed. So download Wix tools. Okay. So Wix to set here. So uh, go back here. Go back here. We have uh, the repository here. So there's a package called Wix three here. So you need at least uh, Wix uh, Wix three. To, to create an installation package for Windows over okay, here and uh, download this one, the binaries. So it was um, released uh, like four years ago, but still uh, working fine. So it is downloaded here. I can put it uh, in, the, in my desktop, for example. And uh, yeah, I extract it here. So we have Windows, I don't know if you can use anything. I extract to subfolder. And this is the, the Wix folder. Everything tool, every tool you need is here. Then uh, you need to add this to the path environment uh, variable. So let me see. Um, this PC. Properties, advanced system settings, 
Uh, if you are go on Windows 10, that would be somewhere around on the right. But I guess you have no problem to figure that out. The path, uh, this one, does it. And uh, okay, and you need to restart uh, the PowerShell. So I need to copy the path in order to not uh, go through that again. Now CD to this one. Um, the next step uh, would be to create in an ICO uh, icon to use as the app icon. Uh, since I have a PNG file here, I need to convert it into uh, an ICO file. Uh, let main resource images. Okay. So there are a lot of uh, tools uh, available online. So, I'm going to change to ICO. Yep. Oops. Uh, yeah. So, um, let me see. Explorer. Is the here. Um, uh, yeah. Right. So. I want to download that and save it here and not try to run the uh, program again. I see all. And that's it. There is no error message in this case. So let's see what do you have. So uh, you see that I have the PDF tools that is the axis here. Let's try running that. So open it in explorer and here let's let's run it so uh, it seems to be working okay so by default uh, the application will be installed in uh, your uh, machine in this folder so let's see where is it oh no not this one Probably this one. One class. So when is it PDF? Here we go. And let's try running this. That is guys. Uh, I've been successfully package uh, a Java application into an AVXZ and run it, uh, install and run it on a window machine. So there are still a lot of things to be done. So for example, I want to add shortcut to start menu so I can search here or uh, create a splash a script. But this is uh, a good start. Uh, so hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you uh, very soon.